The popular Herald Cycle Tour 2020 is by far the most scenic race in the Eastern Cape and one of the top classic cycle events in South Africa. Now whether it is the fast-paced coastal scenes uh, during the road race uh, from Pollock Beach in Port Elizabeth or the mountain trails of Addo during the mountain bike challenge, the country's top professional riders as well as uh, uh, leisure riders of all ages will be treated to the spectacular natural beauty of our province. Now our reporter Jade Lee Pulser is is uh, trailing the cycle for us. She's been keeping us in the loop throughout the morning. Jade, what have we missed and what is still to come? Well, it was a very exciting race. I mean, we've been trailing the athletes from as early as 6 o'clock this morning, both the men and the female athletes, as well as the sub-vet groups. And they're doing pretty well. We're still waiting for the females to come in, but the males have come in. And the winner right now for the Herald Cycle Tour 2020 is Byron Munton. Now, we've been following this young gentleman on the road, and he's done phenomenal. I mean, with 2 hours, 58 seconds, I mean, how... How was the, the tour for you? How was the experience and how do you feel about winning this race? Oh, it's just amazing to pull it off for our team and our sponsors to repay them for everything they put in. And yeah, just the five on the course, the organizers put on a really good event. Now we actually saw you breaking away from your team and it's, I, I imagine it's pretty hard when you're not shielded by your team and you're a one-man show. Take us through some of the challenges that you experienced on the road. Yeah, basically as I went away, got it to around two minutes and then conserved from for two minutes until I got to the main climb of the uh, main climb of, climb of the day, uh, Maitland, and from there it was a full gas effort all the way to the finish line. And just going past Maitlands, they call it you know, one of the king of the mountains because you literally have to climb up that mountain. And then obviously you have the downhill uh, spiral. I mean, I imagine that's where you also put in some you know, minutes with regards to finishing, with the finishing time? Uh, actually, from Maitlands, I had two minutes and I just carried on diving all the way to the finish. I ended with, like I think, 30 seconds on the bunch. So it was just trying to keep them off until the end. So today we haven't got wind. PE is actually experiencing great weather. Did the weather also, the favourable conditions, play in your favour? Uh, I think it did. I think the, if there was a headwind till the finish, it, my breakaway would have not lasted as long as it did. So yeah, grateful for the calm there. Yeah. And then obviously, Byron, where to from here? You've just won um, you know, the cycle tour. You were mentioning the fact that you want to go abroad a bit and cycle there. So what are you going to be doing in the next few months? Uh, on Wednesday, next week to Wednesday, I leave for uh, Spain. I'm riding for a team in Valencia called Gesport. And I'll spend the next six to eight months uh, racing pretty much every weekend. And yeah, trying to live my dream. And then just for someone that doesn't know anything about cycling and how much time and effort you have to, to do, how often do you actually train? How many hours a day? Uh, it's between two and five hours a day and then six days a week. Yeah. Well, all the best and congratulations once again. Thank you. Well, Pearl and Sampiwa, that's it from Port Elizabeth covering the Herald Cycle Tour. It's been a phenomenal morning, very exciting cyclists, um, you know, that took upon the challenge. But also, uh, kudos to those who came out and also supported their loved ones, supported their husbands and their children who took part and today. And I suppose we'll be trailing to see the females coming in hot and steady and we'll let you know who takes it this year.